Long time no see. I'll put you to work. Look here. She said she had to take mess and her hips hurt. I asked her for a job over her ring. That's true. Look at there, put him to work. Good morning, everybody. How are you? Oh, junk man, look. Different shirt today. Hey, and I got my hair did it. So, uh, John said a lot of you guys were asking about how I make my pie dough. So, we are going to make some pie dough and then I'm going to make some pies today. And I'm going to multitask. Today's kind of a crazy day. So, um, I put one can of evaporated milk. Um, in my KitchenAid mixer. This is not how my mom and I used to do it. We did it all hand, you know, done. And then I bought this KitchenAid <clears throat> and I like it and it works well because I can actually put it in there and uh, start doing it and go to something else. I put um, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I put two teaspoons of baking powder. I put three heaping tablespoons of butter flavored Crisco. Um, I use white lily all purpose flour. I've used other flours and I don't like them. And that's the one my mom uses and so she's been cooking for She's 84, so I figured she knows best. But it does make a difference. I mean, I did talk to a lady. I don't know where my other thing is. So on my flour, I don't have a measurement on my flour. I'm just going to put some in there to begin with. The recipe does call for a measurement. I do it by texture and how it feels on my hands. Um, <clears throat> but I do measure my, my sugar is a cup of sugar. I mean, it's not going to hurt it if you're a little bit more, a little bit less. I'm going to hurt it. So, um, and then we're going to put two eggs. Two eggs. And then I just turn it on, turn it on like that. And I just let it do its thing while I do something else. So I leave the flour, we'll leave the flour out. And actually while I have the flour out, I'm going to make pancake uh, batter for tomorrow. So this is uh, some special friends of mine from church. They're here. They came to see the Brooks store after watching some of my videos. This is Judy and Mike Wagner, and uh, they work in the sound and media and the light department there. Do you still help them some, Mike? I don't yes. know. Do you? Yes, okay. Do. I've not been there. I used to help y'all, and I abandoned yeah. you and started making videos mm -hmm. on the road. So. Yes, you did. <laughs> so I'm not there as much, but I appreciate what you do for the church and all. And see them. What do you think about the, the the old store today? The history and stuff oh, here. It was great. It's uh, very, it's nice to see things that haven't been torn down, you know? Yes, yeah, yes. it's uh, still original. Still yes. original. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. uh, a lot of history because it's four generations of family here, and the stuff that you see in the store is stuff that was originally used in the store or on the farm here. Right. This was a, an active working farm, and they raised cattle and tobacco. Yeah. And, and an uh, active store, obviously. Yeah, the post and office. Post and office. And they really had cool. a. They had the uh, furniture store across the street over there, Bob's Bargain Mart. So back in the 30s and 40s, this was a booming little area right yeah. here. Yeah. And I'm glad that Tiffany's uh, carrying on the family tradition. Yeah. Yeah. Well, guys, y'all have a good trip. <laughs> All, right, All right, thank you. See y'all. Bye-bye. Bye, Johnny. So we are going to be doing a lot of prepping today. And I'm going to be doing a lot of pie making. Um, so I'm actually going to be using... Um, dried apples this time for my pies which is not something i do but the place that i get my pie filling out was out of um out of pie filling and i bought some dried apples from um my uncle got some and uh so I, anyway my mom made me some dried apples so it'll be a special special pie thing so <clears throat> I just let the pie dough do its thing my mom at first when I questioned about doing that she said eh, I don't know if that'll work because we would do everything um, by hand 
but it works out really well. When the pie dough gets done, then I put it in the refrigerator. It has to sit overnight and chill. And then as you can tell, I have this other one out and um, I'm letting it sit and get kind of thought out for me. This is probably not enough coffee for tomorrow, but at least get us started. So let me show you this dough so you understand. So I've kind of let it do its thing. And it's kind of pliable, like Play-Doh, kind of, see? So this is probably a good texture for me to be able to roll out. Where this is the one that's been chilled and it's harder. So I have to let this sit in order to be, I can work with it and it'll give me good arm muscles, but we're tired today, so we don't care about that. If you watch this dough as I roll it out, it's pretty good. Um, if you, if your dough is too, if it's not, if it's not, um, stiff enough, then it's, it, it just rolls all over the place and you can't work with it. But if it's too stiff, then you're working yourself to death. So this is the dough that I just made and that's pretty good. I mean, I don't know if you can tell on a video, but how it does. And then I just put this around it. Lois taught me this in order to make them nice and pretty because I was making them and they were kind of just ugly, but they tasted good. And then I just put my extra over there. So I just, this is the peach pie filling that I use. And I actually get it at a little local grocery store. And actually my friend Lois actually also found this and it's, and it's good because we were using canned stuff and it was just a lot. So then you just put that around like that. And actually, I haven't turned that on yet. So now I'm going to turn this on. So that's your dough. And then what I do with my dough, which I'm actually going to keep this dough out and work with it because I need to make a lot of fried pies for the weekend. I'm just going to not put this in the refrigerator because as you can tell, like I said, I don't know that you can, but it's a little bit stiffer. So this will be good. So I'm going to go ahead and try to work with it instead of putting it in the refrigerator. So, all right. So there's that. We're going to leave that right there. And I'm going to put this over here. And we're going to put clean up our mess. Does he have an order too? Or just fried pies? Okay. Are you eating that here? No? The sandwich you'll eat here? Okay. So I may have to go in the back and help Megan because she's not back up here. She may have be having trouble finding what I need. So. Well, I know darn good and well. Oh, maybe it's in that cooler. Thing. Did you find the broccoli? Yeah, I put the broccoli there. Take this up here too. Take that up there. Um, let's green peppers. Ah, let's go look up here. Maybe I put it up here. Ah, it's here. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oops. Um, if you want to wash that broccoli for me, and then I'll make um broccoli salad just a minute and here's this strainer so you come to try one of the tiffany's bologna sandwiches yes i did drove all the way from pal to try it so it's got the egg and egg and cheese and tomato and i don't know what else well there's quite a bit of controversy on some people like thick cut bologna and some people like the uh thin cut i like thick cut thick cut fried fried Different, different, different places down here in East Tennessee. Oh, yeah. it's a, I'm a sucker for a fried bologna sandwich. We're glad you made it out today. We'll all see right. you here before you leave again. All right. How many pies did you say you wanted? Five? Six? Okay. Six dried apple. So I just take and I, I coat my, it really good with uh, flour and then roll it out. It'll take me a minute to get my groove. I've had three cups of coffee today. You'd think I'd be going, but 
I'm taking this out of that new dough because like I said, this is still stiff and I don't feel like working it. So these are dried apples that my mom made. Don't ask me the recipe because I don't know. All I know is my mom's 84 and hallelujah, I don't know what I'd do without her. So anyway, so the, the oil should be good and hot. We'll see. Maybe it needs a little bit more time, but that's okay. So we're gonna make six of these. Now I'm just gonna make pies and make pies and make pies today. And on the thickness of it, <clears throat> that's another thing too that you learn. I don't know if you can tell the thickness of my dough, um, but you don't want it too thin because then your stuff will come, you know, your filling will come through. I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. That it was restful and peaceful. Tomorrow's Saturday, so I think we'll be busy. I had a lot of people asking me if we were open today, and I normally am only closed on Thanksgiving, and then I close, of course, for Christmas, depending on when. Like this year, I think it falls on Saturday, so I'll be closed. Or no, Christmas Eve falls on Saturday. And I, well, and I won't be open this year on Christmas Eve. <clears throat> My kids and I are doing Christmas Eve in the morning. We're gonna have Christmas Eve breakfast at my mom's. So, I will not be open on Christmas Eve. Of course, Christmas Day is on Sunday. And, um, but I try to stay open for Labor Day and Memorial Day and all those, because I figure everywhere else is closed and I'm gonna be open and people can come here. So, we usually do really good and the girls are blessed on those days. So, <clears throat> my oil is getting a little, um, I, I reuse my oil um, until it gets the flour that goes in your oil sometimes can be it can make your oil kind of uh, and we'll see how these actually look um, when I turn them over and if they look not how I want them to look then I'll make this guys and then we'll change the oil but um, again I don't have a method these are not done on that side so I'll flip them over and then we'll we'll reflip them again. Wesley, they're looking at your <laughs> at Susie out there. So I got four. I'll do two more. My the guys that are camping out there. Did y'all cat uh see anything today? No. Oh my goodness. They know you're here. Those guys up there are staying in the campground and they're hunting and how many years have you guys been coming Brian but to the campground yeah three years so you can go up there and meet them while I work on these my name's Logan Batts and I'm from Knoxville Tennessee and uh, I've been coming down here to the store and the campground for three years now uh, Tiffany's always been a very good businesswoman, and she has some of the best food a man can eat. And uh, a lot of history in this little place. And actually, I, I've only been here coming for three years, and my father-in-law's been coming pretty much all his life. And there's a reason he keeps, you know, we keep coming back. <laughs> so she's uh, got some really good food here and uh, really good hospitality, and uh, she uh, takes care of people as they come in and takes care of them well. So, uh, Y'all stayed at the, staying at the campground now? Yes. yes, we're staying at the campground. We stay almost every weekend during deer season. Oh, okay. So yeah. you're here quite a bit. Yeah. Until yeah. we coming up Oh, yeah. Area. Good good amenities, good, great area, beautiful farmland around here, and uh, a bunch of deer are down here, too. So that's a, that's, that's a good driving force as well. So, yeah, but we, we really, truly enjoy coming down here to the campground, and uh, she takes good care of us. So, <laughs> Okay, now, here we go. See, we're done with his pies. So we're gonna, he said I could put them in here, so we're gonna lay them in here. And uh, we'll move on to something else. So he wanted six fried pies, so that's four, five, six. Oh, somebody messaged me, don't know where it's from, but it wasn't around here close, and asked me if I could ship fried pies. Um, 
by the time I ship them to another state, I don't know that they'd be any good. So that just means you'll have to plan a trip and come here and see us. All right, Megan, can you come ring him up? They look good. They look good? Yep. Okay. Enjoy them. And it was an excellent quality sound. Katie does an amazing job. She, uh, I've taught her well. She, yeah, she's going to make somebody a good wife. Oh, uh, we're going to put you, say hi, Dan. How you doing? Hi, Dan. Uh, no, I. <laughs> so say hi, Mom. Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Oh, my it's your dad that spends his whole life teaching you football. And who do you say hi to when it comes to cameras? Hi, Mom. Yeah, dad that's right. Tell your mom, mom hi. Yeah, well, yeah. My mom does look at this. Happy Thanksgiving, Mom. Look, Dan's on. See, we're taking yeah, good. We're taking mom. good care of him, Mom. <laughs> Where's your mom live? Kentucky. Kentucky, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Have you ever told them who you are? Who told who? Who? The people on the camera. I don't know. I've talked to them before. Yeah, Dan. Dan Jasper. Yep. Out of I'm every, out, he's from everywhere. I'm on the witness protection program. Don't say no, that. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, he lives at my campground, and he's a great help to yep, me. I live on the campground. Yeah. Yep. And uh, he takes care of people. Okay. What was your name? Jason. Jason, it's nice to meet you. Thank you for coming. So he, the cheese cutter's been in here forever. So he got seven, eight cows. Thank you. So you've been at the Brook store before, I guess, huh? Twenty-five. Yeah, a lot. A lot. We'll be here again in about 30 minutes to eat lunch. Okay. Yeah, that's all with that. And, yeah. $17. And how many knots are we doing this time? Three. <laughs> that's for you. That's for you. This is for all of Reach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I I'm going to play it. What's in my way, Fisher? Tens? Yeah. I'm playing this on Fisher, not on yours. Are you? You know, old Tiki boy over here. I'm going to play that on Tony. I ain't got no blessings. I'm going to knock that where is one with uh where's one that has the hoop cheese on the fried bologna okay so these two need fries do you want to run these since she's these these are the cheeseburgers for this yeah Yes, you can get yeah. a pickle, and yes, we'll open it up for you. Do you need it right now, or are you eating? No, food? with my food. Okay, yeah, then just have you. her write it down. We'll bring it to you. Right. Thank you. So, I got to meet uh, a nice couple here from Ohio. They came down from the video, and it's Brenda and oh. Paul. And your last name is? Nos. 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 There you go. So how'd you enjoy the visit to the store Great. today? Loved it. We'll be back. You'll we'll be back? <laughs> well, I, I got one of those cups too. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, either a cup or a hat I always get. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you find some of these other places we was talking about. And I'm sure yeah, glad you made it down today. We will. See y'all next time. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Once I get these on, Katie, then I can come back over there and switch with you. You're the reason I'm here. Okay. Hey, well, how you doing? Good. Welcome. Yeah. You doing another one on it? 
Yeah, we're here filming today. Yeah. Hey, yeah. My wife Shelly. Yeah. Where y'all from? Cedar Bluff, Alabama is oh. where we live, but Marietta, Georgia. Okay. Yeah. Well, glad saw, to meet y'all here today. I saw you on the channel, and uh, I love this kind of stuff. We came up to uh, L.A.J., Georgia for something for Thanksgiving yesterday and uh, uh, with her family. And so, hey, while we're up this bar, hell on up, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, look around. I'll do something to eat. Oh, yeah. I got to give me one of them bologna sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Tell me y'all ordering here. <laughs> I'm getting one Tiffany bologna sandwich. And you said strawberry? Yeah. And, cha and chocolate shake. Yeah. Oh. I can't wait to get my iced coffee that Katie made. Katie Bug made for me. Cause she loves me. Yes, she does. Order to me five of them. <laughs> um. Let me flip my let me flip my pies before I burn them again. Did you get to collect any tips, Andrew? No. Uh, Don out there wants a chocolate milk. Will you take this one for me, Andrew? Yeah. Where'd you go? Back to Ronnie. Ronnie. Someone with Ronnie. Oh, you stinky beat. Well, you just people on the side. Well, you got a flashlight. Happy birthday, Eric. That's like a magic trick. Hey, I'll see you. I'll see you at the lodge, Charlie, tonight. That's Andrew Danny. Hey, hey, we'll be here in the morning for breakfast. Yeah, I'll be here. I got the wrong. I got the wrong ticket. This is Danny to go. Yeah, yeah. One Hi. chocolate shake. We should have three sandwiches. I mean, four sandwiches. Yeah. Okay. And four and fries. Four fries. I already got that. And, uh, okay. Now, he paid for his two waters. Right. Now, what else am I doing? A pie for me. Okay. And you brought your own drink, and then I'm doing, he already paid for his water, so don't tell me those. Okay. What else? Chocolate shake. Chocolate, Chocolate shake, shake. Yeah. and that's it. Yeah. Did you have anything to drink? No. Bottle. Bottle. Bottle drink. Okay. Now, 31 75 sir, is what it is. Okay. Well, give now, Andrew some tips. Now, Andrew worked hard back I, there. Well, I'm going to give him a tip. I'm no, going to give Andrew. him a lot of tips. <laughs> yeah. I got a tip for him. I got Don't a tip. bet on the wrong course. That's right. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Hang. Hey, how do, I, how do I work this? Do I have to exit out? The whole thing. You hit the square? Nope. Um, hey, come on in, guys. I'll take you over there. Okay. Okay. Now, there's that. Did you already take his, uh, what's his name's? Brian's? Did yeah. you take Brian's? Good day. 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 There you go, sweetie. Thank you, Charlie. It's good to see you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bob. Okay, sure waiting on that. All right. Okay, and what else? Water and fries. Give me another one. It's eight seventy-five. Guys, th those new people that are walking in, 
We just had a big crowd, so I probably don't have any clean tables back there yet, and I take your order for your food here. So if you're here just to look around, that's great, you can go look around. If you're here for me to get your order and you're eating with us, then you need to come back here after I ring these people up, and I'll clean a table back there for you. There's that. What'd you have to drink? I brought my own drink. So I have 75. Whose is this? Okay. This is yours? Yes, Okay, sweetie pie. Thank you. You got to put room that's it. That's it. $12.75. Thank you, my dear. Let's see what I tell you. $12.75, dinner. Okay. $13, $14, $15, and $20. Thank you. I have to build, build on. Huh? You're going to have to build on. No, we ain't building on. Everybody just squish in here like they love each other. That's all I know. All right. Happy late Thanksgiving. Have a blessed Christmas. You Hallelujah. Too. Wonderful day. Okay, do y'all know what you want? Are you eating with me? Mm -hmm. No, we're taking yeah. it. Okay, you, but you're still eating, right? Yes. yes. Okay, you ready to place your order? Four, Four fried bologna. Okay, how are we building each one? Are they all going to be the same? Just with mayonnaise, not a whole lot. That's it? Yep. Do you like them well or, you know, well, more well done? Too well and too less well. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's all you're doing. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and ring you up. Yeah. Do you guys need any help? Or are you guys good? Okay, thank you. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Tell me. Okay. What do you want on it? Well, Chapman. I put Chapman on there. Well, it goes with that order. Uh, small bags or big bags? Small ones, daughter. Okay. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Okay. Is that it? And everything was good? Was the ribeye okay? It was good. Okay. 2120 or 21.50. Here, you can just you can just have it. Oh, he doesn't want oh me. Thank you guys for stopping. Okay. Hey, bye guys. I got the top part of that. I had a Dr. Pepper and a water and a fried pie in the bottle. Uh, Dr. Pepper and a water, yeah, water. Mm -hmm. and a fried pie. Yep. Ten seventy-five. Right, yeah. I, I know how Max is. Nine, ten, and twenty. We Thank see you. how Max is. Okay. Right around the holidays, being a Scrooge. <laughs> You're not around me enough to learn anything. Come on up. For the drawing here, sir. I ain't staying. Fisher's got it. Fisher, hey, listen, Fisher, you're growing up. I don't even know what to think about you. All right, you had a fried pie. What else do you have to drink, sweetie? Okay. Two of them. Two of them. Okay. I had two cameras. Okay. Then I had a fried pie. You had a fried pie too. Okay. Is that it? Hey, everybody. This is Lois that I was talking about earlier today when I was doing the pies, and she's brought her family to eat. So I'm going to take her order. And Katie and I are going to fix their food, and she's going to tell you what a wonderful person I was to work with. No, I'm just kidding. She can say whatever. But she can tell you about her business that she has in Clark Branch, Clark Tennessee, Branch. and what she does, and just whatever she wants to tell you about. So, anyway. So, what kind of business do you have? Well, my place is called the Retriever Retreat, and we provide beds and biscuits for retrievers and their people. And what that actually means is that we train dogs for the AKC hunting tests at my place. I have a friend who is a professional trainer and she helps people who own retrievers that participate in these hunt tests to train their dogs to be successful at the hunt test. And I run the lodging side of the business and I have cabins and a cottage and a bathhouse and we all eat together in my covered uh, galley and you come and with your dog and I'm also on Airbnb um, and you don't have to train a retriever or even have a retriever and I've had people come and stay with their cat so <clears throat> I'm pretty flexible but uh, we uh, that's kind of a I got into the hospitality business because of Tiffany um, I first met Tiffany uh, shortly after my husband Kevin died, and I would come up here and be the little lost widow, couldn't function, 
and she would make me eat and eventually she was looking for someone to make biscuits for her Saturday morning breakfast and I became known as the biscuit lady and then I learned to be a short order cook for breakfast on a volunteer basis. I cooked breakfast for all the hunters for a couple of years on a volunteer basis and then I became a semi-paid staff member for a long time and then when I sold my farm uh, that was close to here and I moved to Clark Range and opened my own business I would still come back in the winter and cook for the hunters and this is kind of my she's my go-to girl when I get desperate <clears throat> my home away from home and yeah. I, I love Tiffany and she's been such a blessing to me and I hope I have been a blessing to her you have been and you that's have. our story yeah that's our story and here we are and so here anyway we are. she Lois was uh, has been a lifesaver many many times when I've needed her when I've had some uh, times in my life so she's always been here to help and come in and join in with Katie so anyway anyway yeah so and now I brought my whole family to have lunch because this is my village and these are my people and we make videos for the store um, for YouTube right. it's called the Appalachian Channel right. have you seen it I have Okay. That's how he found you. That's how I found it. it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we watched it. Oh, okay. So you watched it, decided to come get a bologna sandwich. Well, good. Yeah. Where y'all from? Hickory, North Carolina. Hickory, North Carolina. Well, I'm glad uh, you made it. It's yeah. been busy here today and uh, going to be back tomorrow. And uh, so what do you think about store, the store so, so far? It's been amazing. Fantastic. Right. Just yeah. the beginning of it. Yeah. Just walking into it. Come here. I, let me show you this right here a minute. I, was going to, I told Tiffany I wanted to show this in this video and I didn't really get it, but she don't uh, care for you go back there. Just go back there and look at this. This is stuff that's originally been here. Wow. There's stuff that's been in this store for a hundred years. This used to be an office for them. For the store? Yeah. Yeah. Navy. Someone's been in the Navy. Oh yeah, there's a lot of history. This has been in the same family for a hundred years, so. That's what we was wow. looking at it. I was watching, I did some research on it. It's pretty amazing. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. yeah. And then the post office is up front. Did you see it? I see the post office. Yeah. That was pretty amazing. Yeah. It operated until 1994, I believe, until Tiffany's grandmother, Verda, passed away. Uh, check this out right here, Greg. This is the old, Tiffany still uses this office here. But check out the old Warnock posters. From, oh, wow. from back in from, the day. From yeah. back in the day. Yeah, pretty amazing. Wow. But this was, uh, I don't know what year they started using this post office, but it just stayed here after they shut it down and just used this as office after That's that. Not pretty amazing. That, I mean, this is what Americana was. In yes, yeah. absolutely. Right. General store supported the neighborhood. Yep. And uh, now most of them's uh, uh, restaurants because you got so many of the chain grocery stores you know the dollar stores come and all in, that come in buy everything up yeah so she does a lot of food and some antiques and souvenirs so um, amazing and uh i always like to look at the architecture of them just yeah see how the thing was built and how it's withstood over the years pretty amazing yeah so how long have you had uh the doctor's had five years lost right i just found out in february now how would they know that that's because of the size because and, of and the rate it grows right so what are you doing chemo he just had a second dose he goes in monday for the next dose but yeah his hair is falling he's got a little patch left that he's that he's just Aww. well i'm not gonna do that's it okay it, <laughs> it just falls out yeah is so. that going good for you uh the second dose is yeah no first dose was terrible but second one doing better yeah Nice. Okay, I'm gonna come over there and sit. Katie, I'm gonna go sit. I'll go get candy for just a second. Is that okay? You're healing. You're healing, and you're healing a lot. He 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 bore those stripes for you, Jamie, yep. right? Yep. For all of us. So <clears throat> the healing's already there. We just gotta walk it out, right? Yep. So, all right. So I think I'm gonna pray that um, you will just have these divine encounters, and that this journey that you're on right now will just be one that um, he'll just continue to show himself more mightily, that your um, 
your relationship with him will grow deeper because that's the most important thing because if we really know why we were placed here, we were placed here um, for him and his kingdom alone. I heard this said by a preacher. He said, we tell people wrong. We tell them that God has this great plan for you. No, God has a plan and he wants you to be part of that plan, right? Right. For his kingdom. And, and it's for everyone to spend eternity with him. That's the ultimate thing is he wants, and we forget that we have heaven here on earth, that we have all the kingdoms, all the keys to the kingdom here on here on earth. And so we just have to tap into them, right? Yep. yep. So, all right. So Father, I just thank you this morning that you have uh, given us this beautiful day, Father, that you have... Um, Okay, I'm here with Steve and Roxanne. They're from Knoxville, and uh, they're out exploring a little bit today. They came down to the R.M. Brooks' general store. They had been watching some of the videos, and you want to tell us a little about your, uh, about your grandma that lived here? You said you've been here before. Yeah, about 50 years ago, I came for a homecoming with my mother and my grandmother, and she was raised here. Your grandmother. And my grandmother was. Yeah. Her name was Mary Leona De uh, <clears throat> McKinney. McKinney. Mary Leona McKinney. So you're out going to find some different mm -hmm. places. There's a, quite a few places I was telling you about around here to go see. And uh, yeah. got the rugby village just right down here. And we got our bellies full here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good meal. It was good food. Really good food. Oh, yeah. And what? I found me some treasures that I'm going to take home. I saw you bought some of that spoon art in yeah. there. And uh, what would you think about the store? Do you feel like it's original or authentic? Absolutely, yeah. Not it's really neat, too. The, the post office that's inside. That's real interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it, you can find places that's new that's been reproduced, but this is actual history right here. When right. you come to eat, the Brooks family has been here for so long since the, they started in 1917 selling stuff. And a few years later, they built this store. And it's not here now, but right over there in the field growed up, there was a place, uh, a barn. And uh, uh, R.M., or Bob Brooks, as they call him, he started selling furniture out of that barn oh. and uh, it was called bob's bargain barn and he would go buy furniture at auction so they had all types of uh different things people could buy over in the barn at the bargain barn so there's quite a bit of business going on they farmed yeah. and uh all around us right here we can see uh i don't know how many acres the brooks family still owns but it's quite a few the bed and breakfast would be over that way and right down here can't see it right here but there's a um chicken house i call it but there's a name for it where they raise chickens too they raise like sixty thousand chickens at a time there's some pictures in the store there of when they'd have that thing full of chickens so wow. that was an actual working farm they raised cattle uh hogs i think some uh had the store they stayed quite busy around here back in the day yeah. so a lot, a lot of family history right here right. you know and you don't find that so, but uh, we're glad to let people know about it and hope other people like you all did find it and come out and yeah. enjoy, enjoy seeing what it used to be like at yeah. one time. You don't see much of this anymore. No, they're, yeah. you know, it's hard to compete with the big chain stores. And so I try to help promote the small mom and pop businesses and um, they're, uh, uh, you know, struggling against the big stores. So it's always good when we can support them. Well, it's nice meeting you guys. Nice to meet you. And hopefully I'll see you on YouTube yeah. and Facebook. All right. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Hey, uh, as you guys can see, we were crazy busy today, but we uh, thank you for watching. And if you didn't see my Facebook post about uh, Thanksgiving, I want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving, even though it's a day late. And we look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye.